To them goes my deepest gratitude. For their Veiled in cloud, a symbol of the end of what some see as a decades-long injustice against the veterans of Bomber Command. 300 of them from around the world here to see the opening of the International Bomber Command Centre. For years, their achievements never acknowledged. It's time we were all recognised for what we did. And luckily, scores are beginning to teach again. And uh, it's nice to know people at last acknowledge the sacrifice our mates made. The memorial in London is wonderful. But really and truly, it should have been here in the first place. This is what we should have had from the start, in my estimation. I won't say uh, it was necessarily forgotten, but it, uh, Bomber Command didn't play the profile, uh, certainly in the immediate post-war years, that, that I think the sacrifice of the crews deserved. And to finally have recognition, appropriate recognition, uh, unveiled today, in April, of the 100th uh, anniversary of the Royal Air Force, I think is so appropriate. One of the enemy's main centres supporting the German armies in the west is heavily hit by 4,000 pounders. Of the 120,000 air crew, fewer than 70,000 returned. Lincoln Cathedral, the last site of home for so many who never came back. Today, those who gave their lives immortalised on the walls of the memorial were remembered in silence. <laughs> Among those paying their respects, the last surviving dam buster, George Johnny Johnson, and the youngest veteran here today, 93-year-old Leslie Sutton, who lost his brother in action. I haven't seen my brother's name yet, but it's up there, obviously. But it's wonderful that some people still remember, because if you don't remember, it never happened. A digital archive will be housed here, documenting the accounts of those few surviving veterans before their stories are lost forever. And I think had we not, Tony not, grasped the metal at that point, I don't think this story would ever be told. We're uncovering the most incredible treasures, because um, they weren't talked about. It's hoped now these stories can be told, so history will remember the extraordinary bravery and sacrifice of these men.